Hello, hello. In a previous video, we already saw how LiveView now ships with an assign async helper, right, to do async assigns, and that's wonderful. But it also ships with a start async helper to do arbitrary async operations, and it handles the failures and the successes. It links the process, so it's really cool stuff, and I want to show you how. So here we have a LiveView. These are my emergency contacts. I don't know what you have for your emergency contacts, but these are mine. And suppose here we don't want to assign anything asynchronously. We just want to synchronize these contacts with something else and just kind of be notified if the contacts have been synchronized or not, right? So I'm going to go ahead and refresh this page. And after a second, it says contact synced, right? So that's all we want here. And if it fails, we want to see a failure there. Let's go ahead and dive into the code. We have a contacts live here, a regular live view. We have the emergency contacts there. And we're iterating over the contacts and rendering some things. It's not really important, just the contact name. It's a link. That's okay. The cool thing that we're looking at is this mount function. So you see, we assign the context here and we're going to call this start async. This is the helper that LiveView is now providing to create any arbitrary async operations. We pass the name of the task. In this case, we're going to call it sync context and we perform some kind of function. So in this case, we're just performing an anonymous function that is going to sleep for a little bit and then return it. Okay. Then we can handle that with handle async and it gets the sync context here. And we get an OK if it was successful, plus whatever return value here. In our case, it's OK, so we're just ignoring it. And then we can do something. In our case, we're just going to grab and put the flash there, context synced. And in the case, it fails. So again, remember, this is handling the linking. So our, our live view is linked to that task. And so if that task fails, we'll be notified because it's going to trap that exit, wrap it, and, uh, and handle that. So we are doing that here. We get an exit reason. And if you know, that, that task fails, we're just going to go ahead and put a flash error that says could not sync context, right? So super simple, and it's brilliant. So we saw the positive case. Let's see how it handles an error, right? So I'll go ahead and raise an error here. And let's go back to our live view. And there you go, it says could not sync context. And I'll refresh this one more time, just so you can see it. Boom. So asynchronous operations handled by live view, it's doing all the error handling, we just have to handle that async function, we'd have to define that. And we're good to go. I hope you like it.